Hi there, Jonathan Kemp here at the University of St Andrews and Kemp Strings. So today I'm going to talk about Gibson style uh, guitars in particular um, and uh, what can happen at the G string in particular. So if we play a G string here, um, at the moment it's in tune, and uh, if I now bend this G up like this, you can hear it's gone well flat, so there's quite a lot of quite a lot of friction. So yeah, we can get rid of that friction to some extent by putting in extra lubrication and cleaning and making sure that nut slot's nice and clean and smooth. Uh, but yeah, another uh, thing that's worth knowing about is that uh, yeah, the friction across uh, the ends of the string at the nut and the bridge, um, you can get around that to some extent just by making sure you do that big bend before you start playing and just retune. And by doing that, we get to the point where that's basically in tune again, we play the G, bend it, and we're now nice and stable. So yeah, when you get to your gig, if you're not sure if your nuts in perfect condition, then yeah, tune up, then do some big bends, and then tune up again before you start your set, and that will avoid uh, this problem. Um, obviously, it's even better if you can get as much uh, friction away as possible as well. Um, just to show you why and how this happens, um, there's a bit of friction here, obviously, so you can support slightly different tension on this side of the nut in comparison to this side of the nut. And we can prove that just by bending the string here. See how the string has now got uh, more mass in this bit and it's lower tension there but higher tension here because more of the strings left and uh, the string is actually settled on the nut in a slightly different place, slightly further that way. So yeah, now this G string is really well sharp, but we can set it back into tune by bending. And there it is, back into tune. Okay, so that's uh, what we do uh, when we're uh, coping with the friction um, here. Um, obviously best to eliminate the friction altogether, but if there is some friction there, you can get around of it, get around it in the context of a gig on a guitar without a tremolo um, by just uh, making sure you do your big bends and retune before uh, you start playing. Um, I've got other video about uh, training your trem. If you've got a trem system guitar, then you need to uh, uh, get that understood as well. Okay, thanks for your time. And as a postscript to that, I uh, can I just say that I put a bit of um, this nut saw stuff under by loosening the string, taking the string off, putting a bit of that in there, and also putting a little of it in under the saddle here as well. Um, and so in doing that and putting the string back on uh, does uh, massively improve the problem uh, so that, uh, yeah, you've got your G string here very slightly flat perhaps so we can maybe tune that string up so that's it more or less in tune and I uh, do the bend behind the nut very slight tuning differences much more subtle. So basically it's more or less fixed now, um, but uh, that doesn't last forever. And if you're at a gig, sometimes you might need to know um, that if your uh, nut has got a bit dry or dirty or whatever, that you know how to get around it. Always do that bend, uh, those big bends after tuning and retune to make sure you've got stable tuning during your gig. Thank you.